Hey everybody, welcome to the secret history living in your aquarium. What I wanted to show you, this is a sad sight, we have a mama shrimp of Lucas Brett's Blue Dreams that has passed away. But I wanted to show you something here that's kind of interesting. I don't know what killed it, it was in the prime of its life. But one, you can really see those little grabber claws that are pink. You see that? Two, uh, you can see that my panda loach wants to eat it. No. Um, but what I wanted to show you is the color of its shell. So on the outside, you see that blue color? That's its actual exoskeleton's color. And it's, it's flesh right under its exoskeleton. Whereas... The flesh uh, under the exoskeleton that's not part of it, there's several layers, is a pink color. Now, in, in uh, Bloody Mary Shrimp, this color is actually blood red, rather than this salmon-y, pink, cream kind of color. So, my point being is that even blue shrimp have this, uh, this color pigmentation thing going on and you'll only notice this sorry guys about the focus you'll only notice this a few hours after the shrimp dies this color thing going on um and before all of the scavengers including other shrimp start eating the flesh out from there you can see on the back of the tail hold on the back of the tail where they've actually started eating away at that, just like you would um, when you have shrimp and uh, shrimp cocktails. So this probably happened a few hours ago, but the color uh, disappears pretty quickly when they when they die. So it's just interesting that it's some sort of uh, pigment that is does not last long. It needs them to be consciously. Um, flexing these layers in, in the, the skin and that's why they can change uh, to from darker to lighter you see the the normal color they are up here and uh, it's just kind of one of those weird things about uh, shrimp about neocaridina shrimp is they have the the odd pigment of their shell which is uh, a phenotype that means it's it's the physical appearance of the shrimp as it's been bred and then underneath usually that flesh stays the same color or you can't see it except for on snowball uh shrimp or really or riley as they say shrimp and in those you can see through and so they actually need to be selected for clear flesh underneath there if you want them to be high quality and so here you can see what you would get in a cherry shrimp or a blue dream shrimp this being a blue dream if it changed color uh like if it had babies and the color change was too riley you'd end up with this pink color first and you'd have to select for clearer and clearer flesh but you can also see that the tail right in here even though some of it's been eaten or chewed on up here is prime area to be clear to have that clear color um and that's why you see the rileys or really shrimp have the clear patch right there um behind the main uh plate of armor up on the head on where the tail starts uh the last thing i wanted to point out is just you can see the sections and how these are uh invertebrates uh meaning they have exoskeletons and their spine is uh, on the outside, basically. It's it's uh, it's on the on the shell portion that comes off of their of their body. So, kind of an interesting look. Kind of sad. Kind of a bummer. But uh, such is the circle of life. And I will fish this uh, shrimp out just in case it's sick. But I'm assuming it got stressed or something along those lines, and it's not sick, uh, I hope. Uh, if it's sick, it could spread to the other shrimp and you want to get them out. But I swear, just us even looking right now, it's losing more blue color every second.
and so uh, I'm going to get it out of there. Soon it will be a colorless uh, life form. You will notice also that just like crabs, shrimps, uh, other uh, other invertebrate, when they cook them, when you cook them and things, the flesh turns like a pinky color. Um, and it's gooey and like liquidy, like crab legs, if you crack them open while they're alive. Whereas when they are, when it's cooked, it's, it's more of a firm texture. So invertebrates, uh, shrimp, crabs, uh, things like that, snails, kind of interesting how they work. You can kind of see here, um, the blue, but imagine that pink underneath. And that actually determines a lot of which colors stand out. Uh, let's see, where is, where, where is that shrimp I was just looking at? That actually determines a lot of how dark the blue dream is going to be. So if that color is a darker pink, uh, it will have a darker blue body. Whereas if it's a clearer color or a whiter color, that under flesh, then you'll get more of like a crystal colored, um, uh, like a blue velvet um rather than a blue dream shrimp so just thought i'd point that out and as i said the blue is leaving us as we speak so good timing all right guys um if there's more shrimp dying in here i'll let you know what's up with that but i just thought that this was a good opportunity to show a little bit about the layers of pigment inside a shrimp all right guys uh please like subscribe and uh Hit that bell when you do subscribe if you'd like to see more of this tank and the shrimp and the panda loaches and the baddis and breeding all three together in this funky low-tech tank that needs a uh, scraping. Actually, the scraping will be by the loaches. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. And if you want to support the channel other than that uh, monetarily, you can also buy a t-shirt or check out the link to Patreon or shop at Aquatic Arts. Uh, and that helps us all out into doing giveaways for the channel. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.